On Sunday, Chris Gibson-Smith, chairman of the Stock Exchange, said in response to the occupation surrounding St Paul's that protesters should actually be targeting not the banks, but the governments for not regulating financial institutions in the past. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Revel. Today's lesson comes from the epistle of St Paul to the stockbrokers. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that a multitude did gather by the mansions of the money changers, also called the pinstripes, across countries of the earth, calling themselves the 99%. And they said unto the money changers, We've had enough, for thy greed is unconfined, like unto the lust of the handmaidens of Sodom on a hen night, having it large on Bacardi and Rehypnol <laughs> slammers. And the chairman of the money changers went amongst them and said unto them, Wherefore art thou angry and gettest with us like the camel with his hump. The fault of our greed lieth not with us, it's social conditioning. You've all read Marx. Blame instead the governments from Cameron and Brown, even unto Walpole, for we begged them to tax us responsibly. Even on our knees we begged them, but were not heard like that big issue seller outside Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Honest, we tried so hard. And the chairman said to them, nay, nay, straight up. And the people were amazed at this, as like the people of Gob were smacked when smack and the smackites fell upon them. And they said unto the chairman of the 1%, verily, not since the Hittites ransacked the latrines of Og the giant and his giant people of Bashan and dipped their pitchers into the overflowing urinals of those giants hath anyone ever taken so much piss. <laughs> And the chairman said, nay, again, straight up, like the trajectory of the Lord when he ascended into heaven, straight up, I say, or like the proper way to serve a martini, straight up, say I again. And the people said, right then, if thou art serious, adopt the tax of Tobin, when 0.05% of all thy transactions shall go to help the poor of the earth. And the chairman said, 0.05%? We try and meet you halfway, and thou spittest in our faces. And then, like the shoes of Potter, Potiphar's wife, when she tempted Joseph to lie with her, was it all about to kick off? When lo, there was a bright light in the northern sky, and the multitudes were sore afraid. And as the light grew bigger, did they see coming from the north Jesus Christ descending again to earth from the heavens in all his glory, saying, Sorry I'm late, person under a train at Old Street. <laughs> And he did walk amongst the multitude and touch the chairman and all his pinstripes and said unto them, Check now out thy genitals. And they did so and found that all were now of the girth and length of a young cedar sapling tree in the spring and yet flexible in the middle like the willow in the storms of winter. <laughs> And the pinstripes were well happy, gloating. And Jesus said unto them, Well happy thou art indeed. And now with thy extended and bendy genitalia, thou canst all go forth and fuck thyselves. <laughs> now and forever, until the end of time. Which incidentally is next Thursday. <laughs> Two more things that I have to say to you, and two things only, needle's eye and camel. So verily, go fuck thyselves while the going goeth good. Then, having fucked thyselves, go fuck thyselves again. And when the 99% heard this, there was great rejoicing in all the lands of the earth. Thank you.